Hi guys, Dave here with a new rhythm guitar tutorial. Today we're going to look at September by Earth, Wind & Fire. So I'm going to start with the chord sequence, then I'm going to take you into the actual guitar parts that are played on top of it. So the first bit um, is the main sequence that you hear during the intro and also in the verse sections of the song. So the chords are D major 7. C sharp minor 7, B minor 7, back up to the C sharp minor 7, and then down to F sharp minor 7. It does that twice through, and then the third time it starts that way, does the D major 7, C sharp minor 7. B minor 7 and then it changes to a C sharp 7 or C sharp dominant 7 a bit of a mouthful <laughs> and then resolving to the F sharp minor 7 again now in the intro it then holds on a slash chord for four bars so you can think of this as a G major chord with an A in the bass G over A or you can think of it as an A11, whatever way that you like to view these chords. So in the intro, that holds that chord for four bars, but in the verses, it just does it for two. So guitar one over the intro is basically an octave guitar part and unlike a lot of funk guitar parts this one isn't so percussive as as others like if I think about things like celebration where it's you know where there's a lot of kind of muting off in between the octaves this one you're just holding the shape and strumming the, the rhythm so it's a lot more uh, it's a smoother sound So this is the first two bars. Now you can keep repeating this or you can come up with your own little patterns. I don't think it's important that you stick rigidly to what he does here. It's, it's just a general feel. But I'll show you what he does anyway. So we're holding an A octave. So that's 10th fret on the B and seven on the D string. And you're just muting off the rest of the strings with the backs of your fingers. And the strumming pattern I've got for this is down, up, down, up. Then two downs. Another down. Then down, up, down. If I play that rhythm, that's... So that's the first bar. And then the second bar, it goes down, down, up down down and then down up down down up down and that sounds like this you'll hear it more clearly when you listen to the slow playthrough of this but if I put those two bars together you get this okay you do basically those two bars you do it four times in total and then you're going to do it a fifth time but it's going to end differently so the fifth time you're going to do the first bar again and then in the final bar you're just going to go down down up down down up down like that again you'll hear it more clearly against the drums and that's guitar one.
Guitar two is a single note line, and it's very syncopated, so a lot of it's off the beat. So again, you're gonna hear this more clearly when um, you hear it against the drums. But I'll give you the notes. So, and it's, it's, a, it's like a two bar phrase that is basically the same, but there's like little variations each time he does it. So we're just gonna do this on the D string. We're just gonna go 11, nine, seven. Each one of those is off the beat. And then we're gonna go nine, nine, then six, seven. So it's all on the D string. So it's like that. Then you get another variation. You go down again, 11, nine, seven. And this time he's gonna slide up and play nine, three times before going down to six and seven. So. It's worth noting that that slide is quite a long slide. It sounds like he's starting quite low and, and then working his way up to nine. Like that. Okay, and then the next two bars, again it goes down, like before, 11, nine, seven. Then we just get nine, nine, Six, seven. Like that. And then he's gonna play the G over A chord. Probably only plays the first four strings for this. And the strumming is get two bar rest and then down, up, down, holds for two beats. Then does the same thing again. Down, miss, up, two downs, then down up again, and then three downs in a row, and on the last one cut it off nice and nice and short, like that. Again, listen to the slow playthrough and uh, it'll make sense as far as the timing and the rhythm goes. Okay, now we're on to the verse. I'm gonna start with guitar one. And uh, you get this little, little phrase that happens. Um, it's worth noting that this only happens on the first half of verse one, this little phrase. So we basically got a little double stop. Happens on beat two, and you're just holding down five on the E and seven on the B. And we're gonna play it four times. Down, up, down, up. Then we're gonna take that shape, slide it up. So we're now on seven on the E, nine on the B. And then go back to the first five and seven for a nice short one. So and that so that goes like this. So it's like one, like that. Beat rest and then a whole bar of rest. Uh, that happens three times, so it's like one, one, two, three, four. Three times it does that, and then on the fourth time through, it's gonna go back to the G over A chord. I think it's probably only playing just on the second, third, and fourth strings for this. And the way I tend to do it is I just go down, up, up, down, up, then down, up, down, with a nice cut off on that last one. And then on the very last beat, it comes up and plays a high A octave. So that's 17 on the E, 14 on the G. Like that. So it's like one, two, oh, <laughs> starting in the right place. One. Like so. 
Now the second time, or the second half of the verse, he just plays through the chords. And it's worth noting that when he does verse two, he just plays the chords, so uh, that'll save a bit of time. So, And it's the same shapes that I used when I was describing the chord sequence earlier. So the way I hear him playing it is probably all with down strums. So the D major 7, he does three short down strums. One on the C sharp minor 7. One on the B minor 7. Comes back up to the C sharp minor 7. One long strum and then two short ones. Down to the F sharp minor 7. One long strum, one short one. Again, when you listen to the uh, the slow playthrough, you'll get the idea of the timing and the rhythm. But I'll play that a couple of times. The third time, he just goes up to the C sharp dominant seventh chord for a single strum and a single strum on the F sharp minor seven. And then you're up to your G over A chord again. So once we're up to the G over A chord, it's basically just gonna go very similar to what we had before. Down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, cut off. And then we're just going to shift up just one fret to give us an A flat over B flat slash chord or B flat 11. Okay, the uh, guitar two part for the verse, very similar to the intro, all single notes, and again, it's the same sort of phrase with little variations. So we've mainly on the D string here, we're going 11, 9, 7 again, all off the beat, one and two and three, and like so. Then we're gonna do our little slide into nine, three times, so slide the first one, two more on the nine, six and seven, then the second time, same run down again, 11, 9, 7. And then these are all going to be off the beat in bar 2, 9, 6, 7. 1 and 2 and 3 and like that. Then the next one is so slightly different. Um, we're going to do three on the eleventh fret, nine, then seven, back up to nine, and then the second bar phrase, all off the beat, nine, six, seven. So it's. Like so. Then over the um, the A11 chord, he's just playing this on beat two and on beat four, and then beat two of the next bar. Again, makes more sense when you hear it against the drums 
which you'll hear shortly. And basically, he's just going to play through that entire eight bar sequence twice. And that gives you the verse part for guitar two. Okay, the chorus chords. This is the only change really, chord wise. Everything else is the original sequence. So we're just going to do a B minor 7. Then you can go to an E9, which is kind of pushed off of beat 2. Uh, it can be E9 or it could be an E7 if you want to play an E7. And then we're going to go to C sharp minor 7 for two beats and then F sharp minor seven for two beats. And it does that three times. And then it just goes down to now G over A or A11 chord, and that just holds for two bars. And that is the chord sequence for the chorus. Okay, guitar one part for the chorus is, uh, we're just gonna use the shapes I just showed you for the chord sequence, uh, but with a little bit more of a rhythm. So B minor seven, you're gonna go down up. Then you're gonna get a down scratch. And then we're gonna swap to the E9, hit it on an up, or two ups actually. And then a down scratch. Like so. Then we're going to move up to C sharp minor seven. Just go down and then down up. Now on the the two on the down up, I tend to mute the chord off a little bit in between, a little bit more staccato. So if you can manage that, that'd be good. Get a down scratch, and then we're going to hit the F sharp minor seven on an up, and then you can put another down scratch in just to kind of cut it off. So. Like so. That's gonna happen three times and then we're gonna go down to our G over A chord. Uh, and I go down, down, up. Down, down, up. Then there's a beat rest. And then I'm gonna go down, up. And then the last three, even though they're the same rhythm, I'm gonna do them all with down, strokes and make them staccato so cutting them off in between like that so those two bars together like so
Okay, guitar two part for the chorus, very similar to what we've had before, again just with little variations. So, first two bars. So that's all on the D string, going 11, 9, 7. Two on the nine, on upstrokes, or upbeats I should say. Then another one, and then six, seven. So one. That's what it sound like together. Then the next one, very similar. So eleven nine seven again. Then three on the nine, all nice and staccato. Then six seven. Next two bars. Actually, I'll do that one more time. There you go. Then the next two bars, um, the same, in fact. Then over the A11 chord, we're just going to do this. It's kind of... So it's just on the and of beat one. One and two and. Does the same thing off of beat three. Then the next bar, the and of beat one. Then... Sorry, that, I forgot to say. Uh, Note-wise, that's 7-5-7 seven, seven each time. Once you've done it three times, you then stay on 7 and just do three more. So I'll put that together. So it's 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. Like so. Okay, and that's guitar 2 part for the chorus. Okay guys, that's um, all the guitar parts and the harmony for September. I hope you have a lot of fun with this one. Um, there are many variations. Um, I've done a full transcription which is available to all the people that have joined me on Patreon. So if you want to check out um, the benefits of being a member of my Patreon group, uh, go over to my page. There'll be a link at the end of the video and you can uh, gain access to things like um, tabs that I prepare for the, uh, for the videos. Uh, as well as any backing tracks that I make for my lessons. Okay guys, hope you have fun with this one and I will see you soon.